Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I will show you how you can create customized parametric hair grooms and add them to the MetaHuman Creator plugin in Unreal Engine 5.6. Ok, first let's export a skeletal face mesh from the Creator plugin. Then double click it and hit Make Static Mesh. Right click on the static mesh, Asset Action and Export. In the export settings just deselect the LODs. Switch to Blender and import the static mesh you just exported from Unreal. Click on Viewport Shading. Select the head mesh and go to the Material Properties. By clicking the minus button, delete all the imported materials. Click on New and change the base color to something more like a skin tone. Select the head mesh and hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make a copy. Rename the copy to something like Hair Scalp. Use the side view and switch to the edit mode. Select the lasso tool and toggle the X ray mode on. Now roughly select the shape of the scalp. With Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus you can increase or decrease your selection. When you are done, go to the mesh menu, separate and selection. So you created a new mesh from your selection. Now you can delete the old scalp mesh. Select the just created one and change its base color to see where the hairline is. Select the scalp mesh, switch to edit mode, go to the select menu and select all. Then go to the UV menu and click on unwrap conformal. Switch back to the object mode. In the add menu go to curve and select empty hair. If we now switch to the scalp mode all the hair tools will show up. Ok, this is not going to be a hair design tutorial. There are so many very good tutorials out there how to design great hairstyles in Blender. I just give you a quick overview of the hair tools you can use and the steps you need to do to bring the created hair to Unreal Engine. First let's open up the Tools Properties tab so we can make adjustments. Then enable the scalp collision to prevent intersections of the hair and the scalp. Click on the Add tool. Here we can set the brush size. This is the count of the hair guidelines you will generate with every click. We leave the interpolation to radius. This is the length of the guidelines. But the measure is not meter, it's more like centimeter. And use the points to determine how many sections you divide the hair into. If you create longer hair, you should set a higher number of points. And here you can activate the symmetry axis if you want. So now you can add guidelines. Most of the tools are pretty self-explanatory. Add adds guidelines, delete deletes, slide slides and so on. Just play around with everything. It's pretty easy. The most used tool is the comp to style your hair. Let me quickly delete the guidelines and create a short curly look. But these are guidelines, not actual hair. We need some modifiers. Click down here and open up the Asset Browser. Then click on Hair. Here we get our hair modifiers. If you want to add some modifiers, just drag and drop it to your hair. I start with interpolate the hair curves. Go to the modifier tab and select your scalp mesh as the surface inside the interpolation modifier. Then I add a curl hair curves modifier
and at last a fizz hair curve modifier. To get a more realistic look, play around with all the modifiers and take your time to design the hairstyle you want. Let's bring that hair to Unreal Engine. Now's a very good time to save the project if you want to be able to make changes later on. Because we apply the modifiers and convert the hair to a particle system. You can't go back then. So select the modifiers and go through every single one of them. Click on the arrow and select Apply. Switch back to the object mode and select the curves. Go to the object menu, Convert and Particle System. Select your scalp mesh and open up the Particle Properties tab. Open Render and Viewport Display and deselect the Show Emitter. Cause we wanna only export the hair, not the scalp mesh. OK, go to File, Export and choose Alembic. In the Export settings, change the scale to 100 and check Selection only and Visible only. You can set the end to 1 because we don't have any animation. Under Geometry deselect all and make sure Export hair and Export particles is checked. Hit Export. Back in Unreal Engine you need to activate the Alembic Groom Importer plugin. Otherwise it will not work. Restart the engine if necessary and import the Alembic file from Blender. To become the right orientation, you need to change the import settings like this. Double-click the imported Groom asset to open it up. Now I show you the necessary steps to use your hair inside the Creator plugin, resizable, colorable and with physics. This time we'll omit the LODs and hair cards and create a usable version for LOD0. Go to the Strands tab. For the hair tip scale, choose a low number like 0.1 and set the root scale to something around 1.5 to get a natural look. Switch to the Material tab and hit the plus button. Search for MI underscore hair. And name the slot also MI underscore hair. Switch back to the Strands tab and choose the material you just created. Then switch to the Physics tab and enable the Niagara simulation. Choose if you want to use the springs or rods. Here you can lower the gravity if necessary. Play around with the settings until you are satisfied. Then save and close this window. Right-click on the Groom asset and select Create Binding. As target and source skeletal mesh, choose the skeletal face mesh you exported at the beginning from the Creator plugin and hit Create. Then just save and close it. Open up the MetaHuman Creator plugin. Go to the Hair and Cloth tab and drag and drop the Groom Binding to the Hair section. Unreal Engine automatically creates a wardrobe item for you. Select it and click on the Accessory Properties button. For the pipeline choose Default Groom Pipeline, Save and Close. Now double click the custom hair to assign it to the MetaHuman. Congratulations! you created a resizable hair groom asset. In the Details tab, you can color it like any of the default groom assets. And if you add an animation, you will see it has work in physics. Hopefully your hairstyle looks a little bit better than mine. But anyways, you can use this method also for beard or mustache or even fur if your character is a cat or something like that. Ok, that's it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful. Leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. Cheers!